hey guys welcome back to my channel guys i prepared this yummy chicken stew and do one mind not to introduce you to how i prepare this goodness in one pot your one stop shouldn't be your last so make sure you subscribe like the list of the ingredients will be displayed in the description box so feel free to check it out let's start cooking guys i went in with some onions inside the hot oil is being on fire for a few minutes so i just did everything to allow them to saute it for a few minutes next up i went to my dry spice which has curry rosemary thyme and a little bit of nutmeg for those that were asking me if you can use nutmeg to cook your stew yes you can use your preferred seasoning of choice next up i went in with tin tomatoes I just stirred everything together to combine. Then I covered and allowed it fry for some few minutes. I came back to stir everything again to make sure that they are properly combined. You want the tin tomatoes to lose its sour taste. After a few minutes, I went in with my ginger and garlic paste and I just stirred everything to combine. Guys, we are building flavor here. Flavor must be built. <laughs> room. room was not built in the day, so we are building room here. After a few minutes, it's properly combined and I went to my tomatoes and pepper mix. Next up, I just stirred everything to combine. Then I went to my green spice. And I also stirred everything to combine. I just prepared that spice that day, so it was still fresh. Off camera, after this, I added more tomato and pepper mix. Then I stirred everything to combine, then covered the pot and brought it to a boil. I stirred again to make sure that everything is properly on combined. They all understand the assignment and they are all marrying each other properly. Lest I forget the tomatoes and pepper mix I use has already been parboiled. So it makes your cooking process pretty very short. Next up I went in with the chicken stock. And I just stirred everything to combine. I covered and brought everything to a perfect boil. After a few minutes, I came back to check on it. And guys, your stew is almost ready. Yeah, the oil is already floating on top. Once you see oil floating on top of your stew, you know that you are, you are already there. Next up, I'm adding the chicken step by step. I fried mine. You can grill yours. You can use it boiled like that. But I preferred my fry. So I just added the chicken. I just stirred everything together. I made use of broiler chicken here. I have a video where I showed you how to boil your broiler chicken perfectly well. So I will leave that video in the card. Feel free to check that video out. Next up, I went in with some seasoning just to amplify the taste of this meal. I'm using this chicken seasoning and it is good. If you can lay your hands on it, please try it out and tell me your testimony in the comment section. I'm stirring everything together to make sure that they all understand the assignments, they understand why they are what they are here to do. And uh, guys, the marry Biko. I just covered everything and allowed it boil guys the stew is almost ready but one more final step to make this stew perfect though add a curry leaf in it if you don't like curry leaf please feel free to skip this step but i just li like having leaf in my stew and it makes my stew perfect yes guys perfect it has this aroma this flavor curry leaves add to your stew and it cannot be overemphasized. if that makes sense if you use curry leaf let me know in the comment section 
Welcome back to my channel guys, my name is Rosemary, if you're just hearing my voice for the first time, you're absolutely welcome and to my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back, I really do appreciate guys, in glory and in goodness of Lord, meet Mr. Perfect Steel, this dude tested very nice and we'll see you guys in my next video, bye guys.